Welcome back to beating a hat in time without taking damage. Real quick, I gotta be honest with you guys for a second. This whole challenge thing is kinda hard. I know, who could have seen this coming? Because I have been getting my ass kicked by just about everything, I'm going to take the boss checkpoint rule from last episode and make that a permanent feature of this challenge. I know I said I would try to not use crutches like this, so sorry for already breaking that. I made a community post about it, and you guys seemed like you were okay with it, so it's a thing now. Before going into this world, there's only one level I'm really worried about, and that's Train Rush, because Train Rush looks like this. Also, since this is a new world, this is a new checkpoint. When I mess up, I only redo the levels of this world. Since that means I can't delete my file like last world, this challenge is running on more of an honor system now. I'll just go back and replay the level, but yarn and money actually carry over. Anyways, that's enough talk, let's go! I started off with a time rift to get warmed up and I unlocked some new clothes. Yo, I'm green! Now that I'm green, I'm ready to get started. Our first level, Dead Bird Studio, is pretty straightforward. I'm in and out on my first try, and I even legally became a bird. Cool! From here, the world branches off into two paths, one for DJ Grooves and one for the Conductor. In my opinion, the Conductor's levels are significantly harder, so I started with DJ Grooves. This one's pretty easy. Run around, take some photos, say a slur on national TV. It's a good time! Hmm, I do wonder... <laughs> And just like that, we're two levels in. Next up is solving a murder case for the conductor. This level isn't really hard, it's just time consuming. I did get caught, which means a redo of the previous levels, but after that, I'm done with half the world. Also, if you span through the cutscenes, the conductor's vocal cords break. One state. Now, it's time for the hard stuff. Big, big parade. Exactly like the name says, it's a big parade with you at the front. These owls follow you around and hurt you if they get too close. While dodging them, you have to bounce around and turn on fireworks. There's also, uh, missiles. Like, full-on heat-seeking rockets. Yeah, I don't, I don't know either. The easy way through this level is to walk in circles until you need to go activate something. At least it's supposed to be. I took this chance to go back to Mafia Town and finish up a few time rifts. I also did some research on where the hookshot was since we'll be needing that to do the last two levels of World 2. Field trip to the forest! This is just to get the hookshot. The rules don't apply to this area right now. It doesn't count! While I was here, I actually got enough yarn to craft the Dweller's Mask. Not that it'll be helpful for now. We're gonna talk about yarn later though, don't worry. <laughs> I blast through to the well and get the hookshot. With the power of Swing Swong in the palm of my hand, it's back to Birdland. I'm just gonna get it over with. Let's do Train Rush. Wow, that went even worse than I expected. I spent a while trying Train Rush again and again, each time getting closer and closer. I tried going fast, I tried going slow, but nothing was working. Then I realized I could be slower. You see, I'm actually missing one very special hat, the Time Stop hat. I would have a much easier time if everything just slowed down a little. Is it pretty cheap to go into another world just to beat this one level? Yes. But hey, if the game didn't want me to have it, they wouldn't have given me access this early. Off to the skyline! While I was here, I bought the one-hit hero badge, which just makes my job easier. It didn't take me too long to find the first piece of time stop yarn. Let's see, how much do I need to make the hat? 32? Man, the economy's gone to shit. If I want to make a JoJo's reference, I need to somehow scrape together 26 more pieces of yarn. I started this quest by hunting down any yarn I missed in Mafia Town. Actually, no, that'll take too long. Hey, uh, uh, editing me. Play every yarn I got at once. During my yarn adventure, I decided to take a break and just give Train Rush another shot. Who knows, maybe I'll do it and save myself the effort of getting more yarn. I wasn't getting my hopes up though. The thing about Train Rush is that it feels way longer than the level actually is, and since there is so much coming at you all at once, it can be very easy to get overwhelmed. I had died to a lot of dumb things before, like just falling off my hookshot swing, so I was trying to avoid another embarrassing death. 
The biggest threat in my head was the lava room. Even though it's in the final stretch, it is the final stretch, this is by far the most dangerous part. There's explosions, there's cannons, there's no platforms to stand on like anywhere, and there is so much fire! I remember accidentally jumping onto the wall cannons before, so maybe I'll try that. But then again, that is a pretty tough jump. You gotta be really precise. I don't know if I can do that twice, nonetheless. Even if I get really lucky and everything works out, there's no way I'll be able to clear the literal hell that is the lava room without the time stop ability. Oh. After train rush, the conductor was confirmed as the winner, meaning I'll be fighting him for the boss of World 2. Don't worry about that for now though, we have some levels to redo, because I, in all of my limitless skill, immediately died while going to the boss fight. I don't know what kind of speed demon was possessing me, but I cleared all the previous levels again without any issues. Pictures. Taken. Murder. Solved. Parade. Uh... Bigged. Train. Rushed. This was the most stressful two minutes of my life. I almost died so many times. I should have died. Like, I... How did I survive this? As you can see, I was a gracious winner and acted with the utmost professionalism. All that remains is the boss fight. This fight does not end. I don't know the exact number of hits needed to kill this bastard, but it feels like an eternity between stages. I died a lot, but thanks to the checkpoint, I can just hang out here till I win. I tried pretty much every strategy I could think of. I tried the beam, the brewing hat, sprinting around like a madman. But the best strategy was usually alternating between the brewing hat and just smacking him with the umbrella. This got me to phase two, where everything is harder and now you have an IED attached to your back. Thankfully, DJ Grooves brought his very safe and very official bomb diffuser. This puts us in phase three, the final and most bullshit phase. These fucking owls. If you stop for even one nanosecond, they jump you like a TV on Black Friday. Yeah, like that. It all went downhill from here. I was relying too much on my hats. I would go too fast with the sprint hat. I would focus too much on getting attacks ready with the brewing hat. I tried to do the weird ground pound tech with the ice hat and I just failed and got myself killed every time. I settled on just using basic attacks and actually putting the dweller's mask on. <laughs> Earlier, I said this mask doesn't do anything right now, and that's exactly why it was great. Simplifying things like this was really helpful, weirdly enough, just removing that other option. I kept trying, and trying, and trying, and I couldn't do it. Something always went wrong. I kept heading to more and more pointless deaths. It felt so meaningless. Within 20 minutes, I was standing atop a pile of lifeless hats. My hats. Hats the conductor had stolen from me. Does that mean this run was worthless? Was there even any point in starting this challenge? Would I say that of our fallen hats? No! We have a challenge to do, and it's not over till we win! The brave hats! The anguish hats! The ones who carry them are us, and nobody will take them away! That is the sole method to rebel against this cruel game! We look death in its cold eyes, and we say bleh! My hats rage! My hats scream! My hats bleh! Fuck you, train bitch! I have no idea how to end this one, but yeah, World 2 is done. <laughs> Next up is the forest, with what will probably be the hardest boss in the whole run, which means that my next video is going to be something else. <laughs> I've got a pretty fun idea for a Pokemon video that will probably end up being nerdy as hell. I think that's everything. Thanks for watching. Bye!